Basketballer Angelo Cho has come a long way to play basketball for Team USA. The 17-year-old was born in Sudan, and civil strife made him and his family move to the United States when he was seven. Uh, I mean, this is a great honor, man. I'm, I'm like, I'm not from the, I wasn't born in the U.S., you know. So Where are you born? I'm from the Sudan, you know. Nice. Tell yeah, us a little bit about moving from Sudan to... I moved there when I was like seven years old. Uh -huh. I moved to the United States, and, you know, I lived there ever since for like ten years, so, you know. I mean, I'm serving a country that, you know, that, that served me for living in their country, so I'm serving them back. So that's how it feels. Angelo says of his life back in Sudan. We used to get in trouble a lot. Like, we used to do a lot of crazy stuff, like, a lot of trouble. Like, I, can't, I can't talk about it. No, right. I'm the nicest person in the world. Big friendly right giant, now. huh? I'm a big friendly giant. Mm -hmm. I could be mean, but I don't want to. When Razor TV pressed him to tell us more about life in Sudan, Angelo said he couldn't remember much of his former life. He's thankful, though, for three people in his life, all of whom have helped shape him. His coach, who shaped his career, his godmother, who was his first real mom to him, and his dad, who says he has always been there for him and was the one who decided to leave Sudan to seek a better future and education for Angelo. Just like any American teenage boy these days, Angelo's biggest problem is styling his hair. You have a cool hairstyle. Oh, thank you. You know, it's called. Did you do life. it yourself? Nah, I, I got some lady to do it for me. Mm. Yeah, lady. So how do you keep it all styling while you're here in the humidity? It's, it's very hard. It's very hard. I got, I got, I got the stuff. This thing I got to put in my hair like every night. But. Another gentle giant on the American basketball team is Kyle Cothill, who is six foot eleven or. 2.11 meters tall. Hi, I'm standing next to a giant. And <laughs> this giant's name is Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hi. One thing which piqued our curiosity is how Kyle fits into a normal sized bed. What do you think of the place you're staying? Uh, it's, it's nice. I mean, it's not the worst place I've stayed. Well, the beds kind of have to be catered for your height. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm used to that not being, not being right, though. Hmm. Yeah. So, it falls a little short? Oh, uh, yeah, a lot short, actually. A lot short? Yeah. How much short? Uh, about right below my knees is where it stops. <laughs> okay, so what do you do with the rest of it? You just hang it over? Just Yeah, just kind of let it hang down. Kyle has been playing basketball since he was seven and has no problem shooting hoops. Scoring on the love life front, though, is a little more tricky. What about girlfriends? Uh, not at the moment. Because... Uh, I don't know. Just don't have one, no, or just don't have one. Well, yeah, girls, watch out. This one's available. Definitely. <laughs> if you had to write a short uh, advertisement for yourself, you know, like a personal, what would it be? Um, I'm big. I'm handsome, and uh, that's about it. I have a great personality and a great smile. Kyle and Angelo may say they're nice boys, but don't expect them to play nice during a competitive game. Keep your eyes peeled for more youth Olympic profiles in our series, YOG People.